So an important problem to analyze in when you do machine learning is to avoid overfitting. So if you look at these examples, they're classifying the red and the blue dots from each other. And you have two different functions. One is the green line and one is the black line. Which one do you think is the best? Certainly the green line is much better at classifying the blue and green dots. It's, it does a perfect job on that. On the other hand, if you add a new dot somewhere close to the border or the black line, do you really think it should be red or blue? Because it's most quite likely that it, this green line has just learned too much to, to avoid the, the data that's not really generalizable. So you really cannot say that it's very good. So maybe actually the black line is better because the black, black line learns the general rules. And how do you test this? How do you know this? So one way to do it is actually to use cross relations in its example three threefold cross relations you would use two per third of data to test on a third one third let's see and actually have to develop and test it three times so you train three different predictors and you test it to use all the data you can even use many more cross relations you can use every just take one example out of turn everything else if you have little, little data and not a computer time so, uh, also if you want to divide overfitting, we don't want to have the same data twice because in different training sets, because then we learn anyhow. So basically, in that is in sequence, when we deal with sequences, that means we want to have very similar sequences, homologous sequences, more than once in our data sets. So we often need to do some homologous reduction, it means take away all examples of similar sequences or homologous sequences. And you still need to have a big, very large enough data set that also contains data sets that are non-biased that represent the problem that we see later. So basically we need to have a representative data set. And when we do that, often what you see is that if you train something here, train a neural network for instance, is that in the beginning, the data on your test set, as well as your training set goes down. But after a while, actually your, your training data keeps on going down while tested does not. And that means that it's probably a good thing to stop as soon as the, you load the lowest performance, or lowest error, the best performance on the test set, not on the training set. You can see here, in this case, you probably would run 100 iterations, so you only have 50 epochs of training. Because that's when you have the best performance on the test set, but you can still run it 500 on the training set and get better, better performance. But actually, after a while, the, the performance on the test set starts getting worse and worse.